News in the world of Nightingale, let's go. Patch 0.1.1 is done. So the game needs to be updated and they recommend that you restart Steam. There's a crap ton of stuff that they have changed, bug fixes and game updates. So I'm gonna run through this really quickly and, and just make some key comments here and there. I might even speed myself up in the edit because they have done a lot of stuff here. I'll see if they've done what I was most hoping for. See if they did what you were most hoping for. So under bug fixes, editing Christy here, y'all let me know if you like me looking at everything that they did or if you would rather me just pick and choose the things that I believe are most significant to talk about in these patch update vids. Thanks. Progression blockers, fixes for various crashes, tab one at the same time, loading into the watch. Network errors or progression resets should no longer happen when the game is force quit. Creatures should no longer vanish during vault encounters. Added certifications that should prevent antivirus programs such as AVG from blocking Nightingale from launching. Logging out or leaving the realm should no longer block the quest to be set bay from Shiv Pearson and should be fixed for those who previously ran into this issue. Some changes were implemented to the Byway tutorial realms to address various crashes, progression blocks, and general incorrect game states. They had told us that one was coming. For art and visual, scrolling quickly in characters should no longer create special effects spam. Say that three times fast. Removing trapper shoes, critter, and calcularian boots no longer cause invisible legs. That would be fun though. Forest and Desert Bunker POI no longer has see-through gaps. Removed unintended floating assets at Forest Ruins POI. Fixed missing water mesh in Desert Herbarium, Small Oasis POI, and Astrolabe Swamp. Added missing waves to some instances of forest maps. Mystic Climbing Pick third person animation now uses the intended animation. After dashing with lantern, player's main hand animation should no longer lock. Added cooldown on, on poison trap visual effects to prevent it getting stuck. Climbing Pick magic visual effects should now show in third person. Ghost card fog effects should look more consistent for all performance settings. Fixed warping on nighttime starfield. Pagoda foundation brick top and bottom pattern now align. Cleansing minor cards should now remove visual minor card effects. Hoover visual effects should no longer lock when the player is in motion. Okay, audio special effects. Star map room music no longer gets stuck when taking the staircases. Increasing gear score should no longer produce player pain sounds. Fixes for some glitchy sound effects when destroying bustable objects. Fix sound effect for eating berries. Remove sound artifact that sounded like knocking from the enchanter's focus. Face star map music should no longer cut in and out in the watch. Sound effects now apply to spells with the enchanted repair hammer. Remove to stake care and sound loop next to Aurelio. Added missing build complete sounds for various structures, such as stone carving block, etc. Building can now add light decorations to the underside of upper floor pieces. Yay, told ya. Fixed seed growth in the simple plant pot and plant box. That's good, I'm looking forward to that one. Estate Cairns should create respite points even when on a POI structure. I wonder if that's part of why some people were teleporting back to their original spot in the realm. Crude transom archways now support roofs, that makes sense. Crude peaked roof, corner roof, and desert roof pieces should no longer allow rain to pass through. Stave trainable should now fully rotate. Materials should no longer be lost when removing partially complete building blueprints. Fixes for when players can occasionally not add resources to build encounters. I have had that one happen too. Legal augments should now connect to alchemical boilers. Controls. Keybind changes should no longer break after player death. That would be annoying. Can remap the push to talk key. Inventory rebind should now respect your non-tab key. Controller fixers. Players can now navigate through the greeting screens, can now select the options part of the ammo radio menu, can remove map markers from the map, should be able to navigate simple upgrade bench fully, updates to umbrella gliding inputs, can now rotate your character in character creation menu, swap d-pad control cycles on the toolbars, should be able to rotate blueprints when it's another tile set piece. I know a lot of controller people were saying they needed a lot added, so it's good they're doing that. Economy. Gossamer and time infusions can now be assigned to items. Makeshift torch can no longer be upgraded. Crafting bench timers can no longer be reduced to one second to avoid errors. Umbrella gliding no longer increases player power levels. NPCs. Okay, this is where I'm very interested to see what they did. Wheelhead bound hammer should no longer linger after death. Small creatures should no longer reach above themselves to get onto services. Fixed wardrobe clipping on some abeyance essence exchange merchants. Merchants. Puck's dialogue should match written text. Recruited NPCs should no longer teleport into invalid locations such as inside of terrain. Those sneaky helpers. Reductions in Bishop and Knight automation. Hero Vine Elk and Leopardon Ragdolls falling through the world. Desert Eotans should now use their Bramble ability. Blast Miner's Trap should no longer blow up other human NPCs. Prismatic Pupfish now displays the correct creature name. You can now properly apologize to Danu. Bound at defense encounters now properly despawn with dissolving effect. 
Recruited NPCs no longer ignore Elafas. I always say it different. How do you say it? Fledgling Apothecary Challenge should now provide a reward upon completion. Removed uncraftable enchantment charm recipes from NPCs. If yours isn't there, hold on. There's more about NPCs in a second, a little bit farther down. Player character. Player character models should not appear in first person before dissolving visual effects. When loading into a realm, improve deconstruction accuracy when using extreme Kangle. Kangle? Boy. Camera angles in third person. Removed. Obsolete. Fed time plus trait. Animations should no longer loop when reloading the Winchester while aiming. Various stability changes to the character creator menu. Changing category while in eye detail screen should no longer break the camera. Escape no longer breaks customization when in the naming panel. Adjusting intensity of makeup colors with no color B selected should no longer remove all your makeup. Reset button in eye manipulation should now apply to eye position. Random button on inheritance screen now applies changes to the player character. Mustaches should no longer stretch with facial restructuring. Hard difficulty hat should no longer snap to your face after changing facial hair. There should no longer be a third hand when collecting while swimming. I could use an extra hand. Logging out while climbing should no longer put players out of bounds. Reloading the chest pot rifle while crouch no longer stacks hidden status. They've made quite a few changes to resources that are going to change some things. Trees should more reliably turn into logs after being cut. Bushman grass in the desert should now be collectible. Textiles using animal fiber should inherit their unique appearance. That's good. Want it to. Been waiting for that. Clothing should now inherit specialized patterns from higher tier animal hide. Excellent. Chitin no longer can be used as a replacement for bone or hide. Papyrus, now callable with a sickle. Oberon bounty spell should no longer drop mismatching essence tier properties. Carnute Icor should go straight into player inventory rather than dropping on the ground. Crafting hybrid stone at excellent masonry bench no longer creates carved stone. Illegal stacked rocks at POI has been removed. Okay, a lot of people have strong opinions about the UI, so let's see what they've done with this so far. Rebinding additional mouse buttons should no longer stretch icons. Players can no longer consume ammo from the Q slot. Consume ammo? Yeah. Removed mentions of hope from various texts. Decor recipes no longer appear on cooking stations without augmentations. Guidebook entries should no longer require multiple clicks to expand. That's nice. There's so many clicks. Players should be able to consistently remove items from fueled structures. Good. There were sometimes it was getting locked where you couldn't get it out. Death chest map pen should now show the correct cause of death. Pocket watch matches server time. Huh. Completed items and benches should now show the correct amount of items after long rest. Text should no longer be cut off for the higher lumberjack challenge. Previously played realm cards should show when reopening portals. Gear score should be consistent between inventory and what is shown to other players. Pistol crosshair now shows on first load when in third person. Interact prompts no longer disappear after using help I'm stuck. Longer NPC names should no longer be cut in the realm preview UI. Track and info buttons should no longer cut off text. Challenges should no longer be exposed in the guidebook before requirements are met. Interesting. So that's going to cut off some of the things that we could see of what's coming next. Recipes should no longer show as craftable even when there aren't enough ingredients. Move and remove prompts for ineligible realm structures should now be the same. Food icons should not persist after timer has run out or disappear before the timer runs out. Status bars should feel properly consistently. Elder Jotun life bar no longer persists regardless of distance. Charm of Stealth does not show continually. Travel to Herbarium Quest should no longer show a zero zero progress and progress bench timers should persist when returning to a server. Death chest should no longer have inconsistent spacing between items. Removed inconsistent flickering on bench UI when players queue up tasks. Key shortcuts should no longer break after looking at the fuel widget. Charms no longer incorrectly state they increase carry capacity. That's good. A miscellaneous localizations updates changes. Okay, now we're getting into game changes. I'm not gonna go into every specific one for audio and visual. They're making things sound and look more consistent. Let's look at things that actually change something. Building crafting stations now get threatened status when in close proximity to hostile creatures. Controls, added controls for rotating through the offhand toolbar. Alt plus middle mouse button. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. Yay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. What a pain to not be able to rotate through your hotbar. Okay, moving on. Added support for gamepad navigation in character creator. Change the fan the hammer skill to a hold skill. Escape should now exit crafting and storage menus. Yay. Thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. Typing in the guidebook search no longer loses focus. Okay, economy and balancing. Some of you will like these, some of you will not. Firearm cost decreased to 100 rather than 1300. Adjusted the debuff for Hungry Tired to be less punishing. Thank you very much. It was extreme. I was constantly eating. Constantly. 
Removed water bottle essence exploit. Removed rocks to ammo exploit. Adjusted pricing and items at essence trader stores. So that'll be interesting. Added missing resources to essence trader stores. Balance changes for shockwave spell. Balance changes for magic. Balance changes for resource drops. So we'll just have to try that out and see how we like the new balance. Added lunar nectar obtainable in shops. X picks, mining picks, malls, and climbing picks. Reach has been increased. That's good too, because it's pretty close, especially the climbing picks. They have improved it some already, but those things need uh, more improvement. So hopefully this will help. For your player character, players will no longer take damage while loading from Return to Respite. That's good. I've been killed by a wolf that way. Players with a full inventory won't lose rewards from the watch without knowing it. Backpack will automatically be equipped with the easy loadout. That's good because one of my playthroughs, I immediately deleted my backpack, mm. thinking I was equipping it. Removed cloth physics from ancestors for improved game performance. I have no idea what that means. Does anybody know? Ancestors should no longer have strong makeup by default. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, resources. Adjusted water cabbage interaction box. Added discoveries to hope echoes and ascended realms. Interesting, they're adding more there already. Added additional localization for healing salves and potions. Glow spores are now harvested with sickles. Oh, that's kind of nice. Colorful glass now requires glass to craft. Makes sense. Raw berries tea name changed to spice tea. Removed invalid fey vases from POIs. And more changes for the UI UX. Added keybind hints to raising and lowering structures. We could use some more hints. Added warning in pet bed description that only one pet can be active in the realm. Did you know that you can sleep in your pet bed? Pressing return to respite now closes the menu. That's good. Added missing icons for clothing, twitch drops, tools, guns, coffee recipe, and unique one wood bundles. Yay, hallelujah. I mean, I don't know if that's all the missing icons, but that's quite a few. That's good. We'll take it, especially the unique wood bundles all looking the same. That'll help a lot. Improved damage vignette. Added announcement banner for pending maintenance in the main menu for future updates. That's a good idea. Change shard error message to servers unavailable for future updates. That makes more sense. Added user facing game version numbers in main menu and debug screen, improved options, screen layout. Added missing status effect icons. Added server region select to character creator. That'll be good for people that were getting in connected somewhere that wasn't best for them. Reskinned panel for pop-up widgets. Added blank cards to show item previews and shops. Added new category to the guidebook. Ah, so you can go find the new stuff without having to scroll and click through everything to find it. That's a really good idea. Various description and text updates or changes. Station traits move to menu in top right. Remove challenge count in guidebook. Benches are now listed in tier order when looking at the required benches in the crafting menu. Good. I mean, everything that can help make crafting easier to understand is good in my point of view. Players now get informed when they leave or get kicked from a party. Higher quality checkboxes added to the settings menu. Error reading game data now asks users to verify game files to check for corruption. Okay, more about the NPCs. Let's see if what I'm hoping for most is here. NPCs. Added loot shimmer when pawns collect resources. Recruited NPCs will not join you in vaults accessed from the watch, but can join you in private vaults. Adjusted damage outputs for fable creatures and larger creatures. NPCs won't attack passive creatures in offering quests. This is very good. Removed encounter vendors. Most NPC shops have their wares changed and costs adjusted. Unlocking previously locked items, such as ornate spyglass. So they're getting their shops in order. Critter Eotans now drop wood after death rather than meat and bones. Hunt Sight of Power no longer spawns random automaton combinations and is now fixed to one bishop and one knight. Nope, I don't see anything here about the helpers woodchucking our wood yet. Or about them disappearing. Maybe that has something to do with crashes that they were disappearing. I don't know. Those are two of the biggest issues that I hear about. I don't see anything on those here yet. And then miscellaneous a couple things about frame generation. Quite a few changes that they got made in this patch. Some of them are going to be significant. A lot of them are details, but Nightingale has a lot of details and a lot of details that need to be adjusted. What do you think? What were you really hoping for that isn't here yet that we need to upvote and let them know what is a priority for us? If you like get to the point videos, leave a like. Until next time. Happy gaming.